A husky had her dog bone taken in her own home. She suspects that it could be any of the neighborhood dogs, which are a golden doodle father and son, a rottweiler, a golden retriever, and a dalmatian. Luckily, a dog hair was left at the scene in which we can conduct a VNTR or variable number of tandem repeats analysis. All of the dogs involved in the crime scene investigation are diploid and contain DNA. We retrieved dog hair from all of the suspects and the victim and ran the VNTR gels on two different loci. The alleles vary in length based on the number of copies of the repeats. In order for a suspect to be consistent with leaving evidence at the crime scene, the alleles must match all of the alleles of the evidence sample. A suspect can be excluded from the investigation once he or she does not match at all of the loci. When analyzing the gel for Locus 1, I found that the alleles of the evidence DNA did not match those of the victim, which is the husky. This is because the alleles of the evidence DNA had a different number of repeats compared to the victim. The golden doodle father and son presented the same, meaning they can be excluded from the investigation. Further on, the Rottweiler and the Dalmatian did have alleles that matched those of the evidence. They were all in the exact same location, which means they have the same number of repeats and are consistent with leaving the evidence at the crime scene. In addition, the Golden Retriever can be excluded from the investigation because the alleles of the evidence did not match the location of its DNA sample. The Rottweiler and the Dalmatian both had profiles that were consistent at Locus 1 and could have left the evidence at the crime scene. Next, I analyzed the gel for Locus 2. Once again, the victim's alleles were not in the exact location of the alleles of the evidence, meaning the victim had a different number of repeats compared to the evidence. In addition, the Golden Doodle father and Golden Doodle son were also not matches to the evidence. The Rottweiler was once again an exact match to the, to the alleles in the evidence sample, meaning they both had the exact same number of repeats. The Dalmatian was not a match this time. The Golden Retriever, however, was an exact match to the alleles at Locus 2. The Rottweiler and the Golden Retriever both had profiles that were consistent at Locus 2 and could have left the evidence at the crime scene. As shown in both gels, it is evident that the Golden Doodle father is the biological parent of the Golden Doodle son because half of their alleles are in the same location. The other half of the Golden Doodle son's alleles would have been passed down from his mother. The only suspect that was an exact match to the evidence sample at both loci was the Rottweiler. This does not mean that the Rottweiler is guilty, however it does mean that the Rottweiler should continue to be a suspect in the investigation. All of the other suspects can be excluded from the investigation because their loci are not exact matches to the loci from the evidence sample. All of the information used to create this video can be found in the Module 7 lecture slides for this class. All of the images are cited here. The diagrams were created by myself.